Okay, I guess the first question is, how did you prepare for the role of Mr. Brown? Um, well, that usually starts with a massive Amazon purchase. I buy all the books that I, I'm sure that I'm going to get through. And then I remembered that I have a Scottish accent to prepare for. So I got the Amazon purchase and I put it on my nightstand where it sits today. And I started busting my butt on this accent because I really didn't want to be the American clunker in this sort of brilliant, you know, British and Australian cast movie. What's it like working with Jane Campion? I, you know, it's, it's really interesting. I mean, you know, Jane's films affected me a great deal uh, when I was younger. In fact, the piano was had a sort of massive effect on me when I was 17. It's what made me go to film school. And I did wonder what it was going to be like to work with her, obviously. You know, I think we all did. And, 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 and I, I can't say that I have, um, I mean, I've got, you know, a million answers to what it's like to work with Jane Campion. But one, um, one thing that I know is true is that she seems to be sort of a genius of social dynamics. You know, she puts the right people in the room and sort of backs off. Um, and that was really interesting to see. And it was, it, you know, the great favor that she did me was just having the confidence that, that I could do this. Um, and it felt like, well, if this great heroine of mine says that I can do it, I mean, you know, my brain be damned. I'll just go and do it. Um, and so there was, at, at the beginning, there was a certain amount of me sort of like getting out of my own way and just sitting down and working this accent out. Um, uh, and then when we got on set, you know, she sort of wove the web. Um, what was it like working with Ben? It was, it was really great. Um, she, uh, you know, Ben and I got along pretty, pretty immediately. And then Jane did this very funny thing where she, she sent Ben and I kind of on this pilgrimage to up to the Lake District in, uh, in sort of the northwest of, of England to Wordsworth's house because apparently this was also a journey that Brown and Keats took together. And so it was very funny for a couple of days, he and I sort of tromping through the mud of the Lake District and him getting recognized and me acting like his assistant. And, um, and, and we didn't even need so much esprit de corps. Like we were pretty, I feel like we were pretty sort of already sort of on the way to becoming fast friends. But, you know, when we took that, you know, that sort of wild experience of he and I sort of tripping and falling down these mountains that surround these gorgeous lakes and gorgeous part of this gorgeous country, um, we got back to set. And, you know, I told him later that, you know, acting like someone who was very enamored of his ability was not acting at all. I just sort of sat across from him and was very enamored with his ability. Bright Star from Jane Campion, rated PG, now playing in select cities.